Guys, today I will show you one of my favorite never-ending seeker mind setups which can delete legendary difficulty what? and heroic difficulty, of course, without breaking a sweat. Man, I have to tell something about seeker minds. They are hell of a fun to use. Jeez. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep, one more time we can throw these bad boys. And that's the reason why this build is one of my favorite seeker mind setups in the game, baby. Uncle Butcher in the building with another barbecue chicken setup, which will easily annihilate any room in the game. And quite frankly, we are using pretty goddamn underrated talent synergy. And in this build we have everything. DPS, check. Survivability, check. If you didn't know, actually preservation talent on your weapon will work with your skill kills. Status effects, check. Yeah, baby. And like I said, I will repeat myself one more time. This build will work on legendary difficulty and heroic difficulty. And previously, Seeker Minds were much, much better. That's the truth, man. And in this update, only way how to be efficient with Seeker Minds is if you can throw them basically non-stop. And I'm not using hardwired gears, by the way, here as well. It's pretty goddamn boring and still you have some limitations, but with this build you can get instantly Seeker Minds back. Hardwired gears that can't provide that to you, but before we continue to the best part, quick word from today's sponsor, Deving.net. If you don't have enough time with good teammates, but you still want to have all the best items in your game, then Deving.net is set for you. They have absolutely amazing team of consoles. They will complete your order super quick. Everything happens through account sharing. This service has been working for many, many years. They have tons of customer reviews. You can check everything by yourself. But now with my promo code AirBDIM, you will have 15% discount on all services. It's an amazing deal, especially when right now they have some crazy sales going on. So definitely check those out. If you have any questions, simply drop comment down below or contact the operator but now let's get back to my seeker mind setup and like i said previously unfortunately seeker minds received couple nerfs what i mean by that oh at those good old days you could show these bad boys non-stop and they would actually hit your freaking targets now uh, your enemy has to be destructed with your second skill in order to nail them with your seeker mines and that's the reason why I'm using Stinger Hive. Enemies will really focus hard on the hive to destroy it and now you can throw your seeker mines. And damage is not that great but with capacitor, exotic assault rifle you can get ridiculous 60% skill damage boost and from technician specialization additional 10% skill damage boost and don't forget that you will get disrupt grenades for legendary difficulty absolutely golden. Must have grenades to stop chungas, stingers on their backs, to stop dogs, war machines, drones healing stations, yatta yatta yatta, you know the drill baby, how the strong grenades are actually dope. And on top of that extra skill tier which will allow us to use exotic sir knee pad. That's my dirty seeker here. Boom, my seekers are back in business! This build is amazing, man! If you're new here, hey, hit that like, smash it up or leave a hateful comment. It truly really depends on your preference. Man, hit that like, smash it up. Anyway. Let's move forward. For my main weapon here, I'm using King Breaker, named Assault Rifle with Flatline Talent. Why Flatline is really nice here? Because you can apply on it Link at Laser Pointer Attachment from Technician Specialization. Of course, you could use maybe in Sing, but most likely you will use Capacitor. If you don't have Capacitor, yep, use Test Subject, named Assault Rifle with Perfect in Sync. That would be a really nice replacement since you don't have to stack it. But don't forget that Capacitor actually will provide you with extra 7.5% weapon damage boost for each skill 
here. So we have six skill tiers. Yep. Yep, baby. That's a lot of damage. 45% extra weapon damage is a lot, man. And if you're gonna pair it up with exotic sir knee pads, add additional 30% weapon damage boost with full stacks, and you have 75% extra weapon damage buff. Pretty dope, man. Pretty goddamn dope. For gear, I'm using Empress International 3 piece for skill damage and skill efficiency reason. Skill damage as my main attribute, armor regen as second attribute, and in mod slots, skill haste. But you could use maybe protection from elite mods. But if you will play heroic difficulty, protection from elites is not necessary. So I would recommend you to stick with skill haste mods. Skill duration, repair skill again is not necessary. Crit chance, crit damage again, not that handy. So yeah, skill haste will be pretty okay, but I would recommend you to stick with Armor Regen as your second attribute after skill damage, of course. Status effect again is not needed in this setup, because the main focus here is on Seeker Mines and Stinger Hive base damage. So I think this should be pretty goddamn clear. For chest piece, I am using, again, Empress International chest piece with perfectly skilled talent. In my eyes, really underrated talent and I understand why in some scenarios most likely you will use something like glass and then maybe overwatch but with seeker mines, ah, that's not the case. Yeah, you could use hardware set with glass cannon but then you have to use shield so you are using second damage skill so overall I will out DPS all those seeker mine setups in the game simply because I have two DPS skills and I can get in some occasions, three or four times, it instantly back my Seeker Mines. Super dope synergy, and I have more survivability, I can do more stuff with this build. And on top of that, I can deal pretty goddamn dope damage with my weapons. I am not stick, I'm not, I'm not stuck with uh, Liberty or Regulus, excuse me, yeah, Regulus, yeah, or any other pistols. So, I think we are sitting here in much better situation if we are talking about seeker mine setups for holster china light for explosive damage reasons backpack again name it backpack with perfectly calculated talent and like i said this talent synergy is pretty goddamn underrated and slept on and maybe you will not understand how this works together i will explain in a really simple way exotic sony pads will boost our DPS by sitting behind the cover at the one spot and if we're gonna sit behind the cover anyway just to boost our exotics or knee pads hey man calculated will be for us working on stuff because calculated will work with your skill kills weapon kills status effect kills doesn't matter how you're gonna kill your enemy you will proc skill it and calculate it talents immediately so calculated in this scenario with exotic sony pads works really really well dope synergy you will get really quickly your skills back 50 percent with one skill excuse me with one kill it's pretty goddamn amazing for gloves i'm using wyvern because of skill damage obviously and so your exotic knee pads again really handy on legendary difficulty because you will not be staggered with explosions you can sit behind the cover and on legendary difficulty you will face a lot of drones a lot of grenades really dope so you can basically sit with your damage stacks and try to get those skills to proc your calculated backpack talent and yeah, for the skill Stinger Hive and Seeker Mind, pretty goddamn dope Seeker Mind build if you ask to me. Butcher drops the mic, stay safe, love you all, remember you are fucking amazing. And try this build or leave a comment down below what's your favorite Seeker Mind build. Seeker Mind setup is giving me a lot of fun and that's the reason why I'm coming all the time back to the game just to throw some balls. <laughs>